On March 24, 2017, Muhammad Qasim saw a dream. I was traveling in a city trying to find the house of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Everywhere was darkness. The Muslims had small broken houses with barely any light and that light was coming from the big buildings of non-Muslims. I traveled a long distance until I saw a place very far away. Except I had no vehicle to get there, so it's best I search here. Then I saw some people who recognized me, and they asked me, Qasim, where are you going? I told them I'm trying to get to a place where we will get everything, and there will be no more darkness. And that place is the lost house of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. They asked me, can we find it? I told them yes, from my dreams I found it. Then they started walking with me and I asked them why are you coming with me? They told me we believe you and we also want to escape this darkness. Then I told them this will be very hard for you and you will get tired and you will leave me. They said we will not get tired and we won't leave you. I said okay, but if you get tired then don't blame me. Then we traveled some distance and started to become hopeless. A person pointed to a place and said we should go there. We started walking there until we reached the edge of the city. The lights of the building also disappeared and we were in complete darkness. Any dangerous animal can attack us so I said let's go back. Then I looked at the city from before and saw a sharp beautiful light from there. And I said it'll be hard to find the house of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam without a machine. On our way back, we saw a mysterious guard. I told him how I've seen him before and asked him what is he doing here. He didn't respond. So then I said at least we are not alone. Suddenly I saw a sharp light from where the guard man was. We turned one or two blocks until we reached the park. The park was filled with awesome and beautiful lights. All the lights were coming from one small home in the middle of the park. On the door was written House of Ibrahim. I became happy that at least we found the home of Prophet Ibrahim salam. When I opened the door, an amazing light emanated from inside. There were small rooms but only enough for us to sit down. I said the house of Muhammad wasallam is much bigger than this and we have to find that one. A woman said no matter, Ibrahim salam is a friend of Allah. I said yes, this is true but it is necessary to get out of this darkness. Then in a small room I found a control room and in front of this was a window. I realized this house can fly and told the others how we can use this to find the house of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Then I flew the house high in the air and I went towards the direction of that faraway city. And I said to myself inshallah with the help of Allah we will reach there soon. We flew some distance and the dream ended there.